Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to Jay Speak. This week we cover questions. First question, what's your favorite guitar color? Uh, probably Pelham Blue. Runner-ups would include Sienna Sunburst, kind of anything blue, like Ocean Turquoise, Sonic Blue, Mary Kay Blue. I love all those. I'm a sucker for white too, so whether it's like transparent white or like a solid white. And Shoreline Gold is definitely up there. Yeah, that, that's a good color. Question two, what wireless guitar systems would you recommend? Let's see, the last wireless system I had was X2 Wireless, which is probably 15, 20 years old. Uh, I thought that unit was awesome. And then Line 6 bought X2, and I think they came out with like the Relay systems. But I've heard that the Line 6 Relay G10 uh, is really good. I haven't used one personally, but I've heard it. It's pretty good. I used a Shure unit at some point. I've heard the GLX D16s are good. I would probably look at that, and I think Boss has one too. I think it's a DL50, might be one now, but I, I would look into those. So Shure, Boss, and Line 6 are the ones I would look into if I was going to purchase a new one now. But those X2 units, that those older X2 units were phenomenal. They were better than a cable, in my opinion, and it would allow you to like run around the audience and interact it was it was awesome actually <laughs> wireless systems are fantastic question three what do you do when a piece of gear arrives damaged now this is an interesting question so did the gear arrive damaged or was it sent to you kind of already messed up because <laughs> in all my years of buying and selling gear online or in person it's amazing what some people try to get away with and they're just not honest and then there are some overly honest people out there. I try to be as honest as I can if I list anything, whether it's like neck pocket cracks or like, you know, dings, I've done any mods, if the neck is straight, you know, all that stuff is important because let's be honest, most of us are not gonna buy guitars that, are, we're not gonna buy instruments that have problems or an amp that needs to be retubed as soon as you get it. So like, I, I appreciate that stuff. I think like minor things like a pedal, you know, pedals you stomp on, they go on pedal boards, they get knocked around. I think it's kind of acceptable if it's a little more messed up than you thought it was. If they weren't necessarily totally up front in their description. You know, an amplifier, I want to know if the tubes are really old. If you've never changed them, you swapped out any capacitors, the Tolex is ripped, all that kind of stuff. Guitar, same thing. I want to know what the actual wear is. I mean... Buckle rash is one thing, but like pickguard scratches are another. Dents in the headstock or like those old foam stands that just create all this gross stuff around the nitro finishes around the neck. Those are a problem. As far as a guitar legitimately, let's say, you know, a guitar amplifier comes to you totally damaged. So let's talk about what happens if it arrives damaged, which is really the question, but I find that's like a kind of a fine line people will argue up and down it wasn't like that blah 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 so a was it packed well because at the end of the day if your guitar amp is not packed well it's probably not going to arrive well my gold top came to me in the les paul case but knocking around in that big brown box there, there was not an inch of paper bubble wrap anything i was actually really perturbed that there was no packing material at all now, I've gotten other guitars. The Fano back there that I just received even had wrapping on the inside of the case where the guitar is to like keep it steady. So I think that's fantastic. So that's the first thing. Was it packed well? Second, you know, was there damage to the box? If the box is in good condition, and by that I mean no holes in it, it's clearly hasn't been dropped. The corners are still a corner and they're not, you know, like concaved in or curved or anything like that. Chances are whatever happened to the guitar probably happened before it got shipped. Now again, things can knock around. So if it wasn't braced internally properly, you could have some issues. I mean, all it takes is a really good bump on the top of a headstock or the, the body of the guitar to offset the neck. So, you know, that that's its own thing. But if something arrives damaged, um, Definitely reach out to the seller, take pictures, document it, because I've gone round and round with either shippers or the seller about gear that arrived not as expected. So I think twice I've had issues with amps where like the head casing was broken and like the wood was coming apart or like the Tolex was ripped. And I've had to file claims with UPS and FedEx before. And it's, it's not very fun, but as long as you, the receiver, take pictures of everything, kind of document, again, whether it was padded properly, 
etc. That it's usually easy recourse to go back to the seller and say, hey, this arrived this way, here's photos, and just ask questions. I mean, you can be polite about it. I think most people are honest and they're not trying to pull the wool over your eyes, but it's important that you have your ducks in a row and you're ready to go. Another tip would be don't wait. You open it up and you know it's damaged right away or there's glass tubes everywhere. Reach out to who you bought it from and let them know. And that doesn't matter if it's a musician's friend or that's a private seller. So document, reach out, and, and usually things will remedy themselves. It's more of a pain in the butt for you because it, it ate your time. If there is a legitimate claim with FedEx or UPS, it could take like a month before you actually see your money. But it shouldn't be you that receives the money. Whoever you bought it from should refund you right away. You send that instrument back or drop it off at UPS or whatever the case is. And you usually get your money back and they got to fight to get recouped for, you know, their lost funds. So I, th I think it's, you know, it's a hassle, but it, it can be dealt with pretty easily. As always, you can leave your questions or comments below. You can also email me at contactaj at gmail.com. As always, thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Many more videos to come. Don't miss one sub.